We have received tons of teasers for our next update. So today, with the update coming very soon, most likely next week, I want to talk about everything that's going to be coming and all of the teasers that we have. We want Workshop. We're going to talk about Workshop too, guys, all right? <laughs> Now, before we delve into our workshop, which is what we all really want, right? I want to talk about our next rare or epic fire monster. Now, we mentioned last time, it is most likely to be an epic fire monster. But luckily, if we head over in game, we might actually have some more info to delve into what this could be. So, if we go on onto Amber Island, you might see that the monster book, it has been updated. Here's a picture from before, then you have an after one. And quite clearly, they've made some room for an upcoming epic. So, it is going to be an epic. And just as we fear, Guys, guys, if we head over to that Firehaven book, it's not just going to be just an epic, but it's going to be an epic Firehaven monster, just like we predicted this time. My God, we were quite right this time, which I am quite thankful for, okay? <laughs> but anyway, if we look here, this placement, you can see it's actually next to Flugel and Rare Flugel, so therefore, I think we're going to be getting an epic Flugel, guys. This was the only thing that wasn't really teased besides Workshop inside of the trailer, so it's nice to have something else to be looking forward to, to here. Now, out of this Firehaven, than epics that we've got so far. We've got Epic Glow, which is based on a crow. We've got Epic Tring as well, who's based on a cow. You know, all of these, you know, you're seeing a resemblance here. They are all based on animals. And I think, of course, this is going to continue with Epic Flugel. So therefore, we've got to dissect now which animal is Epic Flugel going to be based on. And if you're asking me, Firehaven, it's underground, right? So I feel like with Flugel, it's got a large snout as well. It's going to pump out them notes, right, guys? So I do think an anteater or aardvok would be a perfect fake match for this one. But I decided to delve deeper with MPG being MPG and I came across the Proboscis Monkey. Quite an odd name to pronounce here, but it's the funniest thing on earth. <laughs> I was looking at this thing and I thought, oh my god, it has the biggest nose ever and I just have to feature it because it's funny. <laughs> okay. I don't actually think a big flugel is going to be based on this, but why is this so funny? It's both so funny. <laughs> Anyway, Anteater, I do think, is our most likely one here. Okay, so Anteater it is. And instead of them circular horns that you see on Flugel, I think those could be replaced with ears, seen as the Anteaters, they're quite hefty ear creatures, aren't they? Get them ears on there, make it cute and large as well. I think it could have a darker appearance, more stubby arms and legs, really get into the Anteater style. And just like Rare Blabbit 2, that thing, it had the biggest tail on Earth. So I think it would be awesome to see that make a comeback with Epic Flugel. Add it has a tail. We've not really seen a tail edition on Rares and Epics since Rare Blabbit, so just bring it back, baby. Anteaters have huge ones, so that could match it up quite well. And Rare Flugel got those wings, so you got to give it some right now. And you got to have that Anteater snout. Now, but none of us, we've not forgot that Rare Flugel sees it. Rare Flugel swiping, no swiping. Oh, I'm from Dora Explorer. This thing, it swipes up all at food from the first moment it were announced. It took all of them cakes from Bakery. So, I think for Epic Flugel, could have that Anteater snout, right? <laughs> You can eat all the cakes he wants then. And what do we say then? Epic flugels. No swiping, no swiping. <laughs> For the rest of the stuff that's going to be coming then, we obviously need to go now into the trailer. The trailer itself, it revealed so much in terms of what we can expect out of this update. It was actually surreal. We even got a first look at this new rare score go design, guys. They barely ever just randomly reveal rare wobblings like this. They like to see us discover it in-game. I suppose that's been a bit going against, though, with Rare Bone and Petite Teaser last month. But, oh, well, usually they don't. So, this one, though, I've got to say, it looks awesome. I don't really see Christmas represented all too much in this design. I can see it with the arms and also the body skin parts that you can see on this design, but not as much representation here as I would have actually predicted. We've got a shell, but it resembles almost like an oyster, doesn't it, on the back of it? Quite a darkened looking side of it as well. We've got a tail on this guy, quite a floofy appearance though, but the major thing that you see here is that eye. <laughs> the fluffiness around the eyes, I, I like it, but it's just the middle eye. It just does some, uh, it makes you look at, stare at it, go, why is it there? And that's perfect. Perfect for rare wobblings, ain't it, guys? And besides that, inside of this trailer, besides that wonderful, weird rare Scargo, continuing that weird tradition once more, we also got a first look at rare Monculus. This guy, it has petals everywhere, huge arms, flowers, and then pots as well. Now, you can see this actually being teased on the loading screen, just like to all of these variants that I'm mentioning now as well. This one, it has no face, quite preposterously. And I've got to say, I don't know why, but I just feel like they could have done better with rare Monculus. I, I don't know, maybe I was getting my hopes too high. 
try for this thing, but I feel like it could have maybe been more cooler. I'm looking at this. The arms look really awesome, though. I can see from the head, we have something quite cool looking, like a baton coming from it, which will be interesting to see in terms of its law. An eye in the center as well. Maybe it's because I was looking for a certain specific design with maybe a darkened appearance or it changing more. I'm not sure, but this one, it looks really cool, nevertheless, and I am excited to see it in game. Then from the portal, that is not all that we see because unexpectedly, just out of nowhere. I mean, maybe we should have seen it from Spooks Club and Epic Voodoo. Like, I still got to breathe that thing. <laughs> but we have another one for MPG to breed again. We have Epic Blello Fish, which is just a bald guy here with crab fish claws. And oh my goodness, look at that face. <laughs> It's so weird. I don't know. It's just yellow. It's, it's gone bald. <laughs> His hair's disappeared now. <laughs> it's no longer a fish. It's lost its resemblance at all to Bellow Fish, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> now, this crystal inside of it is broken down. You can see different straps coming around its legs. It looks quite different, this one. And I'm really liking the claw fish likeness to it. You can see where they're going with that. Honestly, it just it reminds me of Mr. Krabs without a shell. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you guys. That is genuinely what this feels like. And it is not a good feeling, okay? I don't know what is going on with the face, man. Now, for the predictions of the inventory behind these, I do want to give you guys a bit of heads up because I do think we can have an accurate prediction behind this. So we have Monculus's on screen now, uh, Monculus, and also we have predictions for Rare Scargo on screen as well. Now, moving on to our true thing we're all here for, Workshop though. Now, this teaser, you, oh my goodness. The lightning here, it came in at end and no one was expecting this thing. So right in the bang middle of this shadowy escape of Ethereal Workshop, we get revealed towards a huge shadow of a monster, which of course is our quad. If we take a look at the synthesizer as the lightning appears, you can see the upgraded synthesizer emerge, hinting that this is going to be the first quad on Ethereal Workshop. And my god, does this look amazing. This thing looks so weird and peculiar. It has faces it looks like on top of its arms, really huge, and a wide face on top. You know, when I first saw that little teaser for Rare Monculus on the loading screen, I genuinely thought it was for this because it looks like it's going to have that golem-like appearance, doesn't it? Just looking at this design, it's really magnificent and so weird. Seems like it's got some kind of weighted appearance to it as well, with more of a weighted look on one side over the other. If you look at this shadow, which I've roughly drawn together with this rough silhouette we've got in traditional workshop fashion, I will add, as all of his workshop monsters have had silhouettes here, and then magnificently they all have, I'll give you that as well, because I love discovering these things in game. They're too good to reveal in teasers. They're too good to just show out, right, that's what these workshop monsters are, I tell you. If we're looking at this quad as well, you might notice along its arms, it's actually got four. And I do think this is in that alongside our triples, which are free of something, the quads are also going to have four or something. Like Augler's free arms, Blarit's free mouths. I think the quads are going to follow that. And rather than with three, they're going to have four or something. It's really cool how they're choosing to do this specific theme with Ethereal Workshop, honestly. And I really do hope that maybe the Quint, if that comes, will follow that theme in too as my god, it's wonderful. Now, based on this look as well with Mother, than likely heads it appears on the hands of these guys. I would predict this to be a vocalist monster and something I really want to see guys inside of this would be a vocalist, just traditional vocalist. So we've got all of these computer generated voices with Yuri, for example, Neebkin, they're all computer generated sounds, aren't they? So I think getting a bit of a vocalist here with actual vocals would bring something magnificent. Put in the Ogliverse and I'm all down to it. Okay. I don't know if it'll go there. There's so many places in the song. I'm just putting it out there that I like that verse a lot. Right anywhere though, and I like it a lot, okay? And I think that goes for everyone too. Now, you might notice as well that we did see lightning here. Now, this does resemble my original theory as well. Hopefully, you've gone and watched that because I don't think you'd understand a clue what I'm talking about in this video of Wise Mode. The lightning here could be resembling the instrument that we could come to expect from this monster as well. It is a bit preposterous that I propose the lightning aspects, and then it seems to be based around that. So, maybe could be our plasma quad after all. As well, if you look inside of the synthesizer, you will notice it has a plasma meeb, which could be hinting towards that, but if we look at them official images for synthesizer, you will notice that it has that plasma meeb in too. And if we're talking about which quad it could be, the wonderful comments have come up with a magnificent theory that I couldn't just help but just talk about right now. So this plasma quad that we've been on about, it might not be a plasma quad after all. As thanks to Andy Opia, they've come up with a magnificent theory. So considering that all of the ties to the 
natural elements that the ethereal elements have, like plants being where gas is found, the plasma element, and all of the links therefore on screen right now. I think it would be awesome, as pointed out by Andy Opia here in the comments, that the element that the quads are missing would resemble a specific natural island, seen as though the natural islands also have one particular one missing. And tiny back therefore to our plasma, shadow, mech, and crystal quad, what island is missing the earth element just to like to this quad it is in fact called island so therefore this quad our first one could actually be the shadow elemental quad i don't know if they're gonna go ahead and do this but it is a wild theory and it does have the potential to be just weird enough for big blue bubble to do because we love how much they love putting detail into these kinds of things now we put all of these theories forward though for his quad and all they stand over and even as fire's got attention now but what about as ethereal workshop triple we've got this shadow for the quad well fear not guys it did mention in that original update description for the fire expansion monsters would be coming for workshop so i don't think we're gonna be left behind and if you guys want more confirmation if we head over to that monster book for ethereal workshop you'll notice one gap here that has appeared in the book and also another them bless them them monster handlers they've been putting them gaps in ready for them probably to take a christmas vacation here but it helps us out a ton because two gaps here probably means as triple is going to be coming to as we predicted guys and speaking of as plasma monsters and as plasma quad we might not be getting a plasma quad but we might be getting as plasma triple here too now we originally predicted it would be this one on screen right now however based on the comments once again and our wonderful butch explaining the specifics behind the gameplay code behind how the synthesizer operates it basically acts as a multiplier so you have your plasma element which represents one and then you go up to poison which is five and when you multiply these numbers together depending on the elemental configuration of that monster that produces how much instability that monster has so based on that actually we have them all down outright in his initial predictions last time but one that we got wrong was actually the one that is coming next ironically <laughs> so these two monsters need to be flipped around i think our final plasma triple therefore is going to be the next one that appears on the island based on his difficulty theory as well meaning plasma crystal and poison it might be his next triple that's coming up and with that you can't resist mpg can you the answer is no <laughs> Let's look at Rouse's design for that particular triple as well. So here we have Oopra, which of course is a part of the Hula and Pom Pom family. <laughs> Typically in tradition as well, they have the double O name there. Love your Rouse for that. Now they've gone out there and added an opera like monster with traditional vocals, I'd assume here, Rouse. We don't need that vocalist monster. I think uh, Shadow or Plasma Quad, whichever one it might be now, is going to be the one to deliver on this. But here you can see a magnificent jewel like appearance in the design. You can see the crystal aspects. Being represented here the plasma with the orb surrounding it and overall this is a really awesome pom-pom design i'm surprised i'm not being back to that family yet because that is the most popular monster family in the monster world and i do think they will return to it soon so why not here than anywhere else but maybe with workshop that might be a bit out of hand seeing a hula come along just in this stable form you know i think it might need to be a bit more unstable on that <laughs> side of things but awesome design here from rouse now make sure to leave a like because you need to love them proboscis monkeys <laughs> oh my god why are those so weird <laughs> I have a cold right now and I feel like my voice is so weird as well. So there's that too. But who cares? Workshop is everything. Workshop will be coming next week. 100% Don Diggle, Diggly, Diggly. Yes, it is going to be coming. Oh my God. Next week, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Proboscos. <laughs>